really enjoying this week. I'm really enjoying talking with you guys and uh, and just putting my own thoughts about homeschooling together. This is great. It's great. It's a lot of fun. Hi. Uh, welcome. Welcome, my friend. It's a great day today. Uh, it's actually Saturday in our house. It's been a crazy week. Uh, all that cold that we dealt with and everything. I want to talk about something today. I want to talk about minimalist homeschooling and what what on earth is minimalist homeschooling? I heard about this. I kind of joined a couple Facebook groups and thought it was really interesting. And I, and I got in on it. And at the same time, I was really trying to get my head around this. And maybe it's just because it's honestly not something I struggled with. And I'm not saying that to boast by any means. I'm really not. I've, I've had a lot of struggles as far as with possessions and even potentially hoarding and things like that. However, I've never really been somebody that went overboard with, with academics. Uh, yeah, as I joined these groups and I, and I started listening to these other moms though, and I saw photos, I saw photos of their homeschooling rooms and of their homes and my heart kind of got heavy for two reasons. One, I could tell that mom was really, really burnt out and overwhelming. I say mom, but I know there are dads out there that homeschool as well. And I, I no means want to make a, a judgment on that. I just think most of the time it's moms. So I'm going to say moms, but if you're a homeschooling dad, power on that's awesome and I'm really glad to be a part of this with you so so I see these moms that were completely overwhelmed with all of this stuff and burden of what am I supposed to be doing and and how am I supposed to be doing this and some of them are new homeschoolers and and they kind of they kind of get all this uh, all these curriculums and all these books and activities and, and ideas that they want to do and those are all fantastic there's only so many hours in a day though and and I think that makes it really hard and so my heart was going out to these moms, but then also my heart was going out to these kids because I, I think for myself, if I sat down in a room and I saw all these posters and all these books and all these things that I was told we were going to do in a year, one, I'd be excited, but two, I would be really overwhelmed. That's a lot. It's a lot to do. And so my heart's kind of been heavy on this and I've actually been thinking about making a video or a series of videos about this for a while and I just hadn't really got around to it yet because I've been trying to figure out what to say. And, and to be honest with you, I don't have the answers yet. I, I don't exactly know and this is going to be a bit of a work in progress to see where these videos go and what we can find out about it. Uh, I do know a few things that minimalist homeschooling is not. It's not doing every subject to completion every single year of your child's life from September to June. At least not here. Uh, it's not about going to every single field trip you can possibly do. It's not about world schooling and homesteading at the same time. You can't really raise chickens and travel to Bali in the same year. Yeah, at least I can't. So I do know what it's not. I know it's not burning out. I know it's not feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders. I know it's not pushing your kids to the point that they feel like failures and that they can't get it done in a year. I know it's not that either. So what is it? I think the best thing I can do is to kind of again, over the course of this month, show you what our life is like and some of the choices that we've made, because some of the choices we've made don't look like minimalist homeschooling at all. They, they really don't. They, in fact, when you see some of the projects that we started this January, there's nothing minimalist about them as the project itself. But one of the perks is because we have removed so many of our possessions that we, we were taking our time to take care of, it's given us the freedom and the time to do the things that we really do want to do. And for us, these are important. They're huge learning opportunities. Uh, this is how we like to learn. We like to learn by immersing ourselves and, and getting right in there and learning it hands on. So, so from that perspective, it is. And to be honest with you, I don't think of a single minimalist homeschooling decision that a person could make that isn't going to be wrong for somebody else. So for example, if you want to homestead and you want to raise your chickens, okay, well, yeah, that's great. You are, you're having a less impact on, on the environment and on, on, you know, what you have to buy from the grocery stores, but it takes a lot of your time. Uh, what if you want to be a world schooler? That's great. I love world schooling, by the way. We are world schoolers by heart. Uh, but then somebody else could argue that you're, uh, I, I don't know, buying you even your airline tickets. They could argue with you that you're having an impact on the planet. Uh, it really doesn't matter what decisions you make for your family. You're going to have people that agree with you and people that disagree with you. And that can, that can be hard. That can be a heavy weight on a mom and a family and on the kids. 
So one thing is my huge encouragement through all of this is, is to do what's right for you and what's right for your family and what helps you to feel the least overwhelmed and to embrace this journey and do what's best for your kids at any point in time in the journey. So with that being said, uh, there's a subscribe button right there. That would be a great way to say thanks. It doesn't cost you anything, but it means a lot to us. If you just hit that sub button, it's great. There's a bell that you can ring again, right down there to get notifications for upcoming videos. And most importantly, I'd love your feedback. Um, whether you're a homeschool or not, even if your kids are being sent to school, um, what are the kind of the areas that are, that take the fun out of it, that rob the joy? Maybe it's, maybe it's the extracurricular activities when your kids are at school, uh, or, or extra commitments that, that can just really take the joy out of the whole journey. Uh, right now I have everything from a kindergartner to a grade 12 or, and, and I kind of have exposure to a lot of it and I've learned a lot of lessons along the way. So that's it. That's today's vlog. Thanks for joining. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. And, and by all means, post your questions, your feedback. I'd love to hear from you uh, and what, what your thoughts are on this subject. We'll keep going. It's going to be a great month. See you later.